Hello and welcome to today's ECAC matches. I am your play-by-play -play cast of K-Wing and I am here with the one and the only, uh, not Foof this time, but we're here with Coach Bot. Coach Bot, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I can't be doing as good as Foof, you know, unfortunately we're going to have mm -hmm. to settle, but uh, I'm excited to see these games today. I am too. I mean, for New Jersey, for the Gothic Knights, you know, they're coming off a pretty tough loss after last week, a pretty rough, rough game where they just, I don't want to put it in a, any kind of rude way, but to be fair, the New the Gothic Knights, they just kind of got, they got stomped. Sometimes it happens, you know, those games, those games are going to show up. It's important though, especially for a new program like we are that uh we're just putting ourselves back together keeping our heads high and we're, we're gonna just go at it again we're gonna keep swinging I'm sure the players feel the same way absolutely that's a that's a good mental to have as we are getting pretty close to the start of the map here um we're it's pretty exciting just kind of uh i think it's pretty exciting just looking at uh I think just both the, these teams for you have the Gothic Knights and of course they're facing off against Farmingdale State College. Uh, so both these teams, I believe, are three and three. And yep. I think that the uh, Gothic Knights, you know, they're looking for this opportunity to bounce back. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the past, you know, week and a half or so has been a little bit rough for the team. Just speaking from the inside, Charisma has been away. So, you know, I'm sure he's going to be coming back a little bit rusty. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of time to really work with just that that two man unit, Wells and Skinny uh, and bringing in Alpha for, for some of those practices, some of those games a little bit more has been good. But uh, now we're, we're kind of getting those three back together. We're hoping that they're able to turn this into a 4-3 season. Uh, I think we have one more week after this. We really want to be, you know, 500 and above uh, before we, we close this out. Absolutely. And, there, you know, it's a good way to start that by winning this and turning that momentum around. I mean, you know, you started off with a with some rough games um, and then turn it around with a pretty amazing win streak, uh, three wins in a row. Um, before it was shut down, of course, by uh, the College of Satin Island, um, the CSI Dolphins. And now yeah. you're just, I think you're looking to bounce back, and that'll definitely help the, it'll help your momentum. You won't go into a downward spiral. Yeah, and there's, there's no excuses in competitive play, right? The win is the win, the loss is the loss, but... Uh we were talking or rather you and foof were talking about it a little bit last week on uh last week's rock league broadcast the the conditions that the students are playing and sometimes is a little bit rough right they're often at home people in their backgrounds being students being student athletes that that combination really plays a factor into it so uh, we have those losses in those beginning in the beginning of the season we're going to live with them we're going to die with them but uh we know who we are as a team and I, I think that's one of the reasons that the team can consistently bounce back from some of those bad situations is because they know uh no matter how bad the record may show that they're they're better than they seem Absolutely. I think that you're right that a win is a win and a loss is a loss, but I think mental has so much to do with it. If you're coming in to a game and you're you're feeling, you know, oh, okay, we're you know, we're on this hot streak, we gotta keep this hot streak up, you're going to be performing better. You're gonna be confident, you're gonna have the confidence to make aggressive plays, which we've seen a lot of from uh I think both the teams, both the uh, Gothic Knights and their opponent last week, the College of Staten Island, um, the Seaside Dolphins. Aggression played such an important part in these two, in how the, in how they, in how they carry themselves. Um, yeah, for sure. I, I think a big part of it, I mean, we, we've just to kind of like give a better perspective on what we've been working on in the background, right? A, bit, a big part of it is going to be that confidence, like you said, but it's also going to be the ability to uh, start putting pressure on faster and faster opponents. 
a, a lot of the games that we've lost it's been consistently because we're not beating the opponents uh you know one at a time we got our solid rotations down in the beginning the first you know semester the first few weeks whatever we have to go through those that solid foundation of, uh, of a team identity has come together um and now it's it's really coming down to how do we just play faster right how do we keep it moving how do we keep it so that um you know we're, we're keeping continual pressure and that confidence is going to play a big part in that definitely i think that it's something that i don't want to keep bringing up that loss but the pressure pressure is such an important thing in rocket league i think that you the when you have so much pressure on your opponent you you force them to make bad plays you force them to uh you you make them feel that when you feel that pressure you're not going to be playing at your best it's just yeah, you're it's uncomfortable. not yeah you're uncomfortable you're not going to be playing as well as you want to and you're going to be you're going to make mistakes you're going to slip up and i think we saw that we saw um mistakes come out from the gothic knights and that was all that they needed to capitalize that was all that the adult needed to capitalize yeah what i'm what i'm really looking forward to to see tonight is uh, like the ability for skinny and charisma to co consistently just get off the ground and uh you know just touch the ball just get there and beat their opponents there or 50 the ball in any sort of way um we know that wells can do it we've seen him do it time and time again put shots on net uh, put touches down midfield, put it towards center. He, you know, he's able to kind of get the ball to where it needs to be from wherever, but it really does come down to whether or not Skinny and Charisma can also kind of back Wells up in doing that. Charisma has shown that he can do it. More often than not, Skinny has shown that he can do it at times, but neither of them has shown that they can do it as consistently as Wells can do it. And the ability to have multiple players on a team be able to, you know, just put shots on net, put shot, put the ball towards mid and get good passes, make sure that they're 50 in the opponent and not giving them space, keeping that pressure alive, having more than one person who can do that is is more significant than I think we can either state. That it is. And just in general, looking at the air is a good, is a significant part of Rocket League. It determines how you it determines a lot, both how you can set up 50s, how you can set up shots, how you how centers happen, how clears happen, how you take momentum, how you regain momentum, how you lose momentum. A lot of that is decided through the air, and it's an it's advanced players that can control their car as well as they can on the ground as they do in the air. Yeah. What I'm uh, curious to know, though, do you think, right, uh, like normal rotations, do you know, do you know the basic one, two, three rotation that most of our teams are, are going through? Like when, when we're watching the streams and stuff like that? I'm sure you do. Yes, of course. So do you think that the one, two, three rotation, because this is something that came up in conversation just recently. Do you think that is to follow that religiously is the right way to play Rocket League? Um, I mean, I feel like there's a, there's a time and place for following a, for following set strategies, and then there's a time and place for instinct. I think there's, there's no one time that, you know, there's not always one specific time that you should say, all right, we need to always do this one, two, three, the one, two, three rotation. We need to always do this um i think there's times where that's appropriate and it's a strategy for a reason um and it's a good strategy for a reason but i think that there's also times where an opportunity opens up where you know you can't set up a one two three rotation and you just have to say okay take this opportunity and it's in it's instinct and that's a big part of i think any esport is more than just theory it's also instinct of when to make these clutch plays it's that x factor that yeah, you can't really sure. predict uh and just to give you an update for those of you waiting in the wings for the game mm -hmm. to start we are waiting on uh farmingdale's third player to come through 
uh, once we have all of those pieces in place we will be ready to go um so please just stand by a little bit longer and we should be good to go all right and welcome back we are just about to get into this game now as we're just about loaded in coach but any final thoughts before we get right in i mean let's play some rocket league good thought indeed as the as the Gothic knights already a dev down going to take the shot onto the goal and oh no dev down from See, the ram okay. going to this get that first score strategy, though. they wanted us to lower our guard so that they could score a goal on us when we had been sitting in the lobby for too long it's you know it's the big brain straps it's the mental plays coming out from the rams we're playing checkers while they're playing four deep chess as dev down again going to take another shot towards the goal charisma is there to stop and take it up towards going to put into that aerial just going to get put away by dev down but the pow but the attack is not over yet here comes skinny coming to try and get a play on the on the ball so many face offs there not going to really get much control of the ball here comes charisma with a shot wells is gonna tip it in and it's even up at one to one pretty quickly. This is going to be a goal fest. I can just tell. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, far, that's we've a goal steal. A Wells. Floating at the net. Oh no. Oh, he's Shame on you. The sacred. Uh, broken the sacred act. That he has. Wells is actually going to go for a double tap. Going to send it in a little too low. Not going to get that score, but the pressure's still on. From the Gothic Knights, Charisma going to get control of this ball, ready for a bit of a face up, going to send it up into the air, and they're just playing so much more aerial. Charisma just barely going to miss that, but still the pressure goes on. Wells has the ball, going to tap it in for another goal. The Knights, they went down at first, but now they're in the lead, and it's only a minute off the clock. Yeah, so something to watch out for for sure is is re what's happening right in front of the net. Like I tried to mention a little bit earlier, there's been a lot of floundering in front of the net so far. I, I think this is going to get cleaned up as the series goes on. But you see, we're able to take a lot of clean shots. Wells has the time to put that ball on top of his car. Ooh, the backboard really, really not treating the uh, Knights kindly right now. But look at all the space we have to just keep putting shots on net. Absolutely, it's the. It's the aggression. They're just playing so aggressively. Skinny going to kick that shot just off that side. And oh, another shot's going to come in just off the side again. This crossbar and these sidebars have just been devastating to the Gothic Knights. Wells is going to go for another double tap. Just going to go off the crossbar. Not going to be able to get to it in time. And now counter attack's going to come in from the Rams. They're going to get the shot off. It won't be on net though. And Wells is going to take another good shot on the net. Will there be, will he be there in time just off the top and again off the top as well, trying to get something going, another good attack from the Gothic Knights, but now power and control going to the Rams as they have another attack here. It's going to be interesting to see how many shots on net there are recorded at the end of this game because pounding it off the backboard sometimes it counts towards a shot attempt sometimes it doesn't um but i think a lot of those were low and close to the net uh, we're gonna we're gonna see a high shot attempt here at the end of the game we'll have to see as well gonna go in for another double tap gonna tap it in it's just off the back save but it's tapped in they tapped it in themselves the oh, ram no. oh let's just see it the tap comes in from wells here but it's blocked by McAster. Oh, dev down. No, 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 no. That's not your goal. Sometimes those hot, those shots are hard to save. It's already mostly in the net. Mm -hmm. The most difficult shot to save is the one that you put in yourself. Oh, that's my actually God, a quote he... from Sun Tzu. Wells is going to get <laughs> that quick score. <laughs> no, no. Oh. This is very this is very forward positioning on part of our uh, the knights as well uh, all pretty much in the attacking third all very far forward a good clear would punish us very well uh, coming out from the rams i think that's one thing that they really should be looking for just getting solid connection with the ball and just clearing it out absolutely wells is going to go for a tap in but now the counter attack might come in from the rams skinny is there to block it away he's going to take the shot on the net it'll be blocked out in the air 
charisma going to reflect it back and wells ready to take that gonna get a face off better for the gothic knights as it goes closer and closer to the ram's net and him shane him shane sorry going to be kind of takes his time trying to get an attack going but not going to get the angle that he might have wanted it's going over towards the ram's net wells with 711 score already and there's still a minute wow. and a half left in the game for him i just we talk about wells being the pop-off but he always seems to surprise me center will come in but it'll be reflected before it can really even get there a little bit of an overcommitment from the rams but skinny will not be able to get to the ball in time and wells will have to reflect it back up into the air onto the side to get that reflection gonna beat two gonna beat three it's just him and the net but the defenders will be able to get there in time or will they a tap will come in here's the shot it's just gonna go pinched off the side charisma will have the ability to center it right right to the net almost there one minute remaining on this clock the rams they're gonna need a miracle if they want to get even close to the gothic knife and oh they're not gonna get it needed even harder it, they're needing an even bigger miracle now I, I I think if Wells was gonna have an over under for tonight, it would be something ridiculously high. You you like you said, 700 points, two minutes left on the clock. I'm sure at this point he's probably getting closer to a thousand than either team likes to uh, acknowledge. Absolutely, and you know just it. We will have to wait until the end to see how much points. Uh, how many points Wells has, but it's definitely close to a thousand as well. So it's just been a dominant force thus far. Charisma, not slacking though with 400 points himself. Dev down, going to try and get something, anything going, but the pressure is just always there. It seems from the Gothic Knights. Wells is going to take the tap in, and another score. 20 seconds left, and the Gothic Knights. Your Gothic Knights, a five point. Lead. The, the Gothic Knights could probably leave the lobby and fall asleep at their keyboards, and they'd still probably win this game. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. Definitely don't want to jinx it. I mean, 19 seconds, I think that would have to be a ridiculous comeback at some point uh, to be able to say that in 19 seconds they're going to score five goals. Uh, it would probably be safer to say that we're going to 7-1. Uh, and fulfill the prophecy of the Brazil. There you go. <laughs> and I, think, I think that's what's just the it. opposite of a caster curse. I think what, what's the opposite of a caster curse? Because I think you just found it. Um, Did you bless them? Caster blessing. Caster blessing. Only Congratulations, you caster blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, six seconds left on the clock and six goals down are the are the Rams, and the shot is <laughs> gonna come in. Why not, Markster? Congratulations, you got a, you got yourself a goal off the faceoff. A pretty impressive skinny, just not able to get up enough. But two seconds left, five goals, do the math. It equals yeah. not happening. There's just certain weaknesses that some player has, and uh, Skinny has struggled with some of those shots, uh, being able to kind of like just save. Charisma now. Right oh my god. Charisma. Charisma, you can't do this to them. But the. Stop, stop. Can we talk about the flip dead. reset? Can we talk about the flip reset from Wells for a second? That was that was a beautiful maneuver in the air just to keep the ball propped up charisma coming in and finishing that off with zero seconds But the touch off the wall straight into the flip reset gonna prop it up charisma gonna dunk it down And I, I think there's some huge holes that we're seeing in the Rams defense right now that we're just taking advantage of uh, Almost had the Brazil Brazil if we were able to minus one from each score, but unfortunately, that's not how score works <laughs> mm -hmm. That is not how score works, but I mean, just just look at that scoreboard with Wells having just a pretty good game, I'd say, you know, just a casual, modest 1,100 points, double, any, double that of anyone else in the lobby. I mean, just look at that. Yeah, we I mean, have our own Brazil points. in our team. There's a seven, there's a one. I see it. <laughs> Yeah, the seven to one, the goals to assists of uh, yeah, exactly. Of Wells. <laughs> there you go. Easy, makes sense. 
but yeah, those shot attempts, like we were talking about early, early on, 21 shot attempts, if I'm reading that, 22 shot attempts, uh, flash by my screen quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Just between Charisma and Wells alone, I mean, the, the amount of space that they're being allowed, the amount of pressure that they have on the ball right now is just out of this world. I We have to give credit um, to Wells always for being able to put up these performances, but Charisma being able to follow suit, uh, those 500 points might not look, or the 700 points might not look as impressive as Wells, you know, 1100, but they're almost uh, just as important, if not more important. Absolutely. The Inchain is actually going to get demoed very early on, and a advantage here for the Gothic Knights, the double tap from Skinny just not going to be on target. A little off to the left, but Charisma is there to knock it towards the net. A save will come in from Dev down, but the the pressure is still on. Skinny tries to go for that rebound, not going to find it, but Wells is able to take it away from the attackers. He's really only got one person to beat, but he will tap it right to them. Charisma going to send it off the side, right to Skinny. He's going to send it close to the net. And Charisma not going to be caught off very well, as now Wells is going to take the shot, and just there it is, Wells. There it is. I, at some point, that's all you can really say, right? It, goal arrives, there it is. <laughs> it's almost expected after last game that we were going to score. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, just coming in off of this, Charisma is going to face off going to be a little bit disadvantageous for the gothic knights but still coming in here wells has 150 points in climbing just impressive so far as the shot will come in it'll be a little bit too off to the side helm shane gonna try and take it away from wells but wells has a man has a i don't know what you would even call it it's fast feed and soccer but whatever it is the gothic knights have it as they score another goal. The chase down, I mean, the demo attempt is valiant. The demo attempt there would have opened up a ton of space for the Rams. It would have made a counter attack very likely and very threatening. It's just you can't catch up to Wells. It's, uh, it's game over after that. That it is, Chris. It's actually going to go for the shot. And the sh but another shot will actually come off of the, off the Rams. And will be a save as Shane will take a shot but it'll be a little it won't be angled enough in towards the net charisma gonna try and make the save here will knock it up above here comes up mark astor not going to get a touch onto this ball so Shane just trying to make this defense skinny has it over on the side gonna send it in towards the center and wells is there to tap it close just in but charisma is there to touch it in three to zero for the, for the gothic knights I think I think most be, most people would bless that with a sheesh, because that was a beautiful team play. Mm -hmm. That it was, and already we're getting into this next face off, and Charisma just steals it away already, right in towards the goal, and Wells is almost there to send it in, but now here comes the Rams counterattack as Skinny going to have to get some kind of clear charisma we'll take it away and now the ball right back towards the net of the rams as the ball will be hit towards the center wells is going to try and get a touch will not get it charisma will cut off will attempt to cut off will disrupt that shot but the save will come in from charisma as well charisma just being everywhere on this field charisma is ready oh, to get this man. shot in and skinny taking advantage of the over aggression from the rams to make this a 4-0 game. It's uh, it's kind of difficult to save those when you're all so far forward. This was kind of the touch that I was hoping the Rams would start to make one big clear straight through. It doesn't have to always be through the air. So uh, a nice little grounder shot down mid straight to the net is impossible to save when you're that far forward. That it is, and when you're that when you're that far forward, you know it's it's a risk because you have the you have all the pressure in the world. It's something that's very important that we talked about, but when you're all that close, any shot down mid that gets past you is very, very dangerous. And we're seeing this here from the Gothic Knights as a shot will come in, will be saved though by Wells and another save from Charisma. And now Wells 
back on the attack. Going to actually have the ball stolen, but Charisma is going to take that shot towards the goal. Hill Chain will eventually will make the save, keep it away from the net. Mark Astor going to go up towards the ball, will not be able to find it. Hill Chain going to miss that jump on the ball, and it will be cleared back towards the net of the Rams. Dev down, going to have to try and make some sort of save. Will also take a shot. It will go wide of the net, but here comes Dev down with the shot. It won't be. You know, they, not the same disadvantage the Gothic Knights have. And even if they did, they're able to play far up because they have this lead. If they give up a goal, a silly little goal, like the one that we recently saw, the the ones that we recently saw the Rams give up, they're still up three points. And they still have this option to completely make sure that these teams did play more defensively they can play more aggressively because they have the option to give up a goal or two yeah and i mean we we have to give the rims a little bit of credit right the kind of starting to come into rhythm a little bit more we're seeing them get more offensive opportunities as time oh. goes on but wells is just gonna say ah oh, it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter if you have offensive opportunities we have goals we just score just we just score for head <laughs> as Wells just knocks it in like it ain't no thing. And now the faceoff again going to come in a 50-50 between Charisma and McCasser going to go to neither side really. Skinny going to try and get that hit into the net, not going to get any opportunity. But Charisma just beats two defenders and a bit of an overcommitment from the Rams. 30 seconds Beautiful left thing. down, five goals. The Rams need something big. Dev Dan will try and get that started, but it's going to be saved by Charisma, and the ball is just going to be cleared away high into the sky as the Gothic Knights are just keen to waste some time to burn some clock away, just to clear the ball away, away from literally from anyone, any Rams car, that they would need to just, they would need to take a while to get to it, and the ball eventually will hit the ground. And Wells and company, the Gothic Knights, two to zero. They're on match point and close to maybe restarting the sweep. You know, as Foof used to say, you know, they put the broom away for last week, but you know, they're look, they're giving it some funny looks. They might be bringing it out again. We're very fond of the broom when we can bring it out. <laughs> uh, is is a, a good kind of running joke in the rocket league community though where there's a faking command in the quick chat prompt uh but charisma shows us that faking is not just a meme you know it's a thing that actually has some strategical use you see him caught he caught two rams players out with a quick little kind of stutter step stops right behind the ball two people go flying he's not able to finish on it but plays like that open a lot of space and it's all these different uh kind of modes of creating pressure that we were talking about early on right 50 50s putting shots on net kind of just moving the ball where you want it to go faking also plays into that so that fake there big um for just kind of playing with the mental of the rams players and and just making it difficult for them to read what's going on Absolutely, as we get into what could be the final map of this of this match, and now looking for some, we're just looking for some in for. In my opinion, we're looking for more aggression from not more aggression, but the same aggression we've seen from the Gothic Knights so far. As the faceoff is going to go the way of the Rams, but Wills is there to keep the ball away from those two attackers, and now already the. Aggression will come out. Charisma sending it towards the net. Wells is there to get a tap. Going to get intercepted. Charisma going to make sure that that ball just doesn't fly into the net. And now Skinny Helm is actually going to get a missed touch there. And Mark Astor will make the save. But pressure still on the Rams as it's 0-0. They have this chance to take the lead for the first time since uh, map one here as Charisma is going to get that shot right in. It's going to be Mark Hass is going to have to use all the boost he has just to keep that from drifting all the way back to his net. And it still does. Uh, Wells is going to get the demo onto him, Shane, as advantage is going towards the Gothic Knights here. Uh, Wells going to use up all that boost, trying to get the ball towards that Towards the net, 
Charisma just going to miss the... Just going to miss that shot, but will get the demo onto Dev down. And now, it's going to be close. Charisma will get the shot onto close to net. Uh, not at all, actually. But Skinny is going to get into a bit of a face-off with Marcaster, but Dev down will take that opportunity that that ball was cleared in towards the center from Mark Astor and a pretty standard rotation on the ball. Yeah, I, I think, you know, that might have been the longest stretch we've had where we didn't score, where either team didn't score a goal. You know, first game we come out instantly score, somebody instantly scores a goal within the first like two seconds, we're able to get a point. Um, but that minute and 30 second stretch there, I think goes to show how far teams can kind of grow and develop even just in a single series whether it's just from warming up getting into the rhythm getting a better read on your opponents there's so much room for kind of a swing mid-match and, and this is starting to show the rams are showing comfort they're showing more shots on net uh and you see these booms are coming out and charisma is oh. just gonna put it on the bottom of that net right there a beautiful backboard read and a great boom absolutely charisma just with that right off the side of the backboard and no one's even close i mean we talked about it that you know you're you're kind of able to play more aggressively when you have a lead not really when you have a 1-0 lead more into a multi-point lead when you can still maintain the lead even if you give up a goal or two and now oh just barely going to have that shot miss from skinny charisma going to kind of to attempt to put a stop to the momentum of the ball Heading towards the Gothic Knights net, but Mark Astor is there. We're going to try and get something off. Dev down will make the save of a well shot. Him, come Shane. We're going to see. We're going to have a clear come out from the ram. They're going to get that shot. Charisma We're going to try and make something, and just barely. Dev down must put it into the net, but will get that save away from a lot of the members of the Gothic Knights. Wells will take the shot off the backboard and. It's going to send it back towards the net, going to send it off that side. But him, Shane, Ooh. actually going to miss the, going to miss that save. That's a pretty, it's a pretty regular save. Missed by him, Shane. Well, it won't hit the net, but that is, that's got to be tough on your mental to miss a pretty regular save like that. But that's just the, the stress of some of these games sometimes. You know, some people watch streamers, they watch oh. professional matches, and they do think, and I mean, that's a good save that I almost just let go by. <laughs> But um, they think that these things are, are easy to do because, you know, they, they think they can do better from their ranked experience. But these games are nothing like paying ranked, you know, having an audience oh, behind you sweet. and still making those passes, still making those passes. It's tough. Absolutely. Playing in a, playing a rank experience of a game is nothing at all like playing in a competitive scene scenario like this because you know when you're playing ranked most of the time you're playing against you're playing with randoms and you're playing against randoms charisma actually is going to get demoed there and dev down going to try we're gonna try they're gonna try and get something going here because they have only a, only about 80 seconds to get a goal even to try and force overtime here in the new jersey gothic knights they just need something, anything. They get one score, and they have a good opportunity to seal this away. I think it, it's largely going to come down to whether or not we can out mechanics oh, or whether that. or not we can just fall apart. Oh, that's rough. A, a, a missed touch on the clear, too soft down to the ground. And the Rams are just going to be able to send that straight onto net skinny, expecting that Charisma is going to get a power shot out of that, starts rotating out of net, has to make an awkward U-turn, and then just doesn't recover enough to get the save properly. Uh, I, I think that's not something unrecoverable, but that's a big momentum swing there to tie up a game at this point in the series. That it is, as it's 2-2, two -two, we're pretty close to end of regulation. So any goals that are happening in this time could be game winning. And for the Gothic Knights, could be match winning as Charisma has that opportunity. Not going to be able to get the challenge on the ball. It's going to, going to clear it away from the net of the Gothic Knights. But to have a comeback here, Wells and Charisma, they're both going to go in pretty aggressive, pretty close to the net. But as soon as that momentum starts to turn away, 
they are going to retreat as now dev down facing off against wealth wells will get the better of that 50 50 but there's still a lot of aggression coming in 10 seconds left in regulation mark asked they're going to get what could be the last real attack of the re of regulation as the ball will hit the ground we're into overtime one of the very rare overtimes that we've seen in the cac so far uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they cope with this because it is the kind of that turning point in the match we either close it out here or we go one more absolutely it is but overtime is always such a stressful stressful time because you cannot make a mistake you need to be perfect on defense you can't let a ball into the net and on offense you need to take advantage of every single thing because if you if you don't take advantage of it you're going to be kicking yourself later because you could think that could have been the game and even the matches the ball's going to just barely miss the net <laughs> shane will just get that save and skinny is going to get demoed and mark astor has some momentum to try and go and put this towards the net but now he's caught off on the wrong side charisma going to get that going to get clear skinny going to send towards the net and uh, dev down will eventually put we'll put a stop to it if we get into this at first the second minute of overtime this is just a stressful occurrence charisma going to get a maybe gonna get a chance skinny going to send it off the side towards the center but now wells going to put us up to the momentum from that potential counterattack. but there's still some pressure there on the gothic knights from these rams they're going to try and get something going wells gonna take the shot and score that's beautiful it. The That's it how you want to close it out. And they're <laughs> sweeping it away. <laughs> you can you can definitely tell that Wells wanted that goal. Charisma right there for it. He could have simply touched it over his teammate, but Wells said, "This is my glory to have," <laughs> and I don't think anybody would argue with it. It's good to see him closing out series, uh, and it's good to see him having normal score lines too. Because <laughs> as as much as you enjoy seeing those uh. 12 11 000 point uh games it's nice to see the team working together nice to see everybody coming together for a win absolutely i mean it's teamwork that really you know it's a it's a time it's a tr it's a tried and true saying but teamwork do really does make the dream work and i think that was pretty much the story of this game i think we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of the Wells show for a while now we've seen a lot of wells just you know kind of dominating the enemy team and we saw that a bit today but we saw also a lot of good teamwork and a lot of good impressive um work between these two between these three people yeah, I think though when we get into some of these matches, because you know, for those who have been constantly following the team and watching every game, or even if you've just been checking in and out, you know, you see some of these swing matches where we're you know up eight two in some games, and then you see other games where we are losing uh, zero and seven, and it really does come down to the nature of just competitive play and the nature of being part of like a newer conference where every team is kind of finding their footing, right? You know, the team's ability to play at a high level is going to change night to night. Uh, it's it's the unfortunate truth that sometimes you come out and you're just not feeling yourself you're not able to get the touches you want uh, and then sometimes you just play an opponent who's unexpectedly good so it, it's good to see that we're able to kind of get that win back under our belts after we had such a crushing loss last week but it, it is it is going to unfortunately be the nature of just the competitive conference uh, but four three I think we're happy with this right now absolutely and it means that no matter what happens next week the gothic knights are going to be 500 or above that's just how it works you're going to have a a solid record coming into the coming into the end of the seat of the regular season and that's just it's what you want and you have the potential to even go five and three um which is more than just over 500, it's significantly better. And I think that there's a lot on the line for the Gothic Knights next week um, for Rocket League. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I think for tonight, we'll be happy with this record. I think the players are going to sleep well. Uh, and, mm -hmm. you know, 
be locked in and ready for that next week. I'm sure this is going to be an encouraging, uh, encouraging kind of like moment for them to push forward. So you want to close this out here? Absolutely. That's going to, that's going to wrap us up for the match today. If you did enjoy the match, be sure to follow NJCU Esports on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Check us out at, uh, you know, you have at NJCU Esports, both on Instagram and Twitter. See them down below. Um, for the two of us, I am at Cal underscore Wingfeather on Twitter. And you have Coach Bot. You know him. You'll love him at Coach Bot with Bot with a zero uh, on Twitter. So, you know, that's uh, that's all she wrote for the day for today as the Gothic Knights bring out that broom, wipe it off, wipe a little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit of dust the cobwebs off it, and uh, take care of their opponent pretty handily, three to zero. Impressive, impressive game. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you here for more NJCU Esports.